It's day two of the prolonged Federal Executive Council meeting, which continued from Monday due to the large number of items on the agenda after a seven-week hiatus. Upon conclusion, several approvals were granted, including a housing and infrastructure investment initiative. Given where we are in terms of stabilization, it is time to focus on economic growth. And one of the key drivers of economic growth is investment in infrastructure, in um, housing, power, rail, roads, water transport, even technology. And so, in conversation, in consultation, collaboration and cooperation with the private sector, we are now able to announce and uh, uh, with the full knowledge and um, support of all parties that there will be an initiative to fund growth through investment in infrastructure, including housing, provision of mortgages, long-term mortgages, 25-year mortgages at relatively low interest rates. Initially, of course, the government will, will, will stand back and provide some support, particularly in this era of high interest rates. He explains further how the government, on its part, hopes to fund the initiative and at what interest group. rates. And you say, where will the resources come from? Nigeria is resilient. Nigerians are resilient. And the fact is that even before we start looking to foreign investors, we start looking to foreign funding, there is available in Nigeria long-term funds to fund infrastructure projects. And it's within the uh, pension, uh, the in life insurance, and investment fund industry generally. There is offers of 20 trillion naira available, and much of it is in short-term funding that it doesn't need to be. Pension money is long-term. Talking about give or take 12%, I would say give or take 12% should be the target that we aim at, something that's affordable. And um, it will take the creativity uh, of the whole, uh, all the stakeholders. For the Ministry of Works, 12 projects got the green light, including Section 2 of the controversial Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. The minister maintains that due process has been followed in constructing the 700 kilometers road to cut across nine states. FEC also awarded uh, Section 2 of Phase 1 of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Um, let me just throw a little light on this uh, project, you know. Um, against what anybody might be saying. First and foremost is that ESIA was obtained by Ministry of uh, Works um, from the uh, Ministry of uh, Environment, 23rd of uh, December, 2023. That's the first uh, approval. And second approval came in March, 28, and further renewed in April 24th, uh, all this year. Other projects include the local Jabinin Road under the tax credit scheme and four other intervention projects. While the Federal Capital Territory received over 96 billion naira for four projects. The first approval is for the award of contract for the development of bus terminal and other transportation facilities in the Capital Territory. Secondly, is the approval for the award of contract for the construction of Court of Appeal, Abuja Division. And number three is approval for the award of contracts for the provision of security operations and maintenance of backup generator for the street lights along presidential routes and Villa Gate 8, Federal Capital City. And lastly, the fourth approval is for the upgrading of Koetai Ebu Road in Kwali Area Council. The first one for the bus terminal, it was awarded at the cost of 51 billion, 25 million, 172,424 Naira 96 Kobo. Well, the two day Federal Executive Council meeting also discussed the contentious cybersecurity levy and confirms that the directive has been temporarily suspended. There were also discussions on lowering data costs in the country from the presidential villa, Adesua, Omoruan, Arise News.